Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's you're supposed to do. Yes. Hook this onto that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she did it. Congratulations. Garrett, today is finally the day we've been planning for. The day we become one. Oh my God, you look so beautiful. Hi. How are you? You look amazing. You came into my life exactly at the right time, when I wasn't ready, and yet when I needed you the most. You ready for this? Yeah, are you? Yes, I'm so ready. When I look at you, I see the one who protects me, loves me unconditionally, and appreciates me. Mm -hmm. Can I give you her, yours <laughs> yeah. first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have never known a love as deep and as profound as the one I share with you. You have seen me at my best and at my worst, and that you have stood by my side, unwavering in your love and support. I want to cry, but I can't cry on my makeup. <laughs> it's okay. I gotta figure out how to get this out. Is it going well up there? Um, Heard there are some dress issues. Super pro. As we stand here today, I promise to love you on bad days and good. Celebrate little and big accomplishments. Brought with you, make memories. You most of all, love you. <laughs> okay. I promise to always cherish and honor you, to be your faithful partner and your forever friend. With you, I have found my home, my heart, and my soul name. I love you. I know what these are right away. Can I put these on? Okay. Oh, thank you. I love them. <laughs> thank you. You look okay. so pretty. Happy wedding day, and I'll see you at the altar. You ready? You're okay. You're all right. The very first day I met you, a coworker introduced us. You may not remember this, but I did because when I left for work that day, I told myself I want to be with her. Over the course of a couple years, we struck a friendship. We spent long nights just talking about nothing and everything at the same time. While time would pass, I would become. I would become Oliver's best friend. I was amazed at how well we fit together like a puzzle piece. You are the most genuine person I've ever met. I vow to be by your side through the good and the bad and to be the best husband I can be. Together we are unstoppable. I love you more than anything else in this world. Let's see what other adventures we can get into. I love you. I love you. All right, no more crying. Yeah. That's it. Let's do it. That was the hardest part. Do you ever think about how people fall Who would have known that maybe a blue slushy or a text like he liked me would bring you here to this moment in this time? It ain't the fancy kind. It just builds over time. Holds the spirit together when it turns. Marriage is the promise between two people who love each other, who trust that love. Honey, I love you like the real thing. But your ankles in, in marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. 
It's standing together and facing the world. Marissa and Garrett, as you look at each other right now, remember this moment in time. These are the hands that will work alongside yours. I give you this ring. As together, you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years. And with the slightest touch, will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes. These are the hands of your best friend. You may now kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey. You don't have to hide them. Tell me something about you. I've been sitting here thinking about all the things you do to me, how you make me feel. But wonder if it's the same for you, but when you're not around, I lose my mind. Mr. and Mrs. Marissa I just want to tell you, I, I could not be any more proud of you and the person that you've become. Even though you are now a grown, married adult, you will always just be my little bubbles to me. We spent a lot of time over the years at that hotel next door when the kids were little, all the way up until they didn't want to go anymore with us. Yesterday I looked over at that hotel and I had a vision, I saw my little Marissa running along the beach, playing in the sand, and swimming in that pool. And here we've come full circle, and she's getting married on this very beach. Mr. and Mrs. Garrett and Marissa Jeffrey. Thank you. Like many sisters, we weren't always best friends. I remember fighting, screaming, and door slamming. However, there are good memories of us filled with laughter, good times, and secrets. Marissa has always set an example for me to follow. Marissa, I don't tell you this enough, and I couldn't have gotten a better sister and a best friend. When Marissa brought Garrett to meet the Freedmans, we knew he was the one before she did. Garrett brought a certain kind of glow to Marissa. She was radiating happiness, as she is glowing today. They bring the best out of each other, and I do believe that Garrett is a perfect match. And today, I realize that all she needed is a guy who loves her just the way she is. Their commitment to each other inspires us all because that's what we call true love. Marissa and Garrett, I have one small thing I wanted to give you. It's a clock, and on that clock, it's set the time of your first kiss as a married couple. The clock represents that in that moment, time has stopped for you. It's a reminder of your love that will last a lifetime. I wanted to be the first to welcome Garrett to the family and to congratulate both of you on the beautiful future that lies ahead. Can you guys raise your glasses and cheers with that happy couple? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone... Hey, Garrett. The first time Rissa introduced us to Garrett, I could tell he was a gentle giant. Through the years, Garrett and I have bonded through sports, camping, a lot of double dates, and had some pretty funny and good memories, but I won't get into those, we could be there all night. <laughs> Life has a funny way of working out, and I am so glad that you guys found one another. Garrett, I am so honored to be standing up here by your side, and Marissa, I am happy that you have found the person that completes you, loves you endlessly, and became your home. I hope you guys have nothing but love and happiness in your guys' future endeavors. 
here's to a long and loving marriage with many memories and a lot of vacuums. <laughs> Marissa and I have been friends for more than seven years now, and over that time we've been on countless adventures. Over the many miles, there's been laughter, some tears, and memories that will last a lifetime. She has taught me more than words can adequately say, showing me that when you put your mind to something, you can accomplish it with hard work, determination, and most importantly, believing in yourself. Standing up for yourself is important, even if it's to Delta, redeeming points for a flight. <laughs> Plus, make sure you have those that care about you unconditionally and tell you the truth by your side at all times. I've known since Garrett stepped into your life, he would be someone that would ground you, push you to be your true self, show you unconditional love, and will tell you no sometimes. <laughs> Find the magic in everyday things as love makes the world and the ride worthwhile. Congratulations, Marissa and Garrett. I wish you both a lifetime of love, happiness, and growing together despite obstacles that might come along. Let's raise our glasses as your next adventure begins, as I and everyone in this room can't wait to be passengers along the way, witnessing all the memories and the life you create together. I love you both. Thank you.